For a movie based on a novel, it is the director's responsibility to take a written work and translate it into the visual medium of a motion picture. George Tillman Jr. attended Columbia College. Mr. Tillman began his career as a production assistant and has gone on to direct the feature films Soul Food, Notorious, and Faster. How you doing? This is George Tillman Jr. I'm the director of The Longest Ride, and you're watching Made in Hollywood. And here's a scene from The Longest Ride. Luke, you need to stop. Or next time, you're more likely going to pick him up at the morgue. This is my life. It's all I know. I can't be with someone if every time they walk out the door, I don't know if I'm going to see them again. I love all of the Nicholas Sparks films, but how did you want to make this one different? I think the, the key was from the beginning is um, once Britt Robinson, Scott Eastwood, Una Chaplin, you know, Jack Houston, Alan Alda, when everybody came on, we were like, how can we make this our own? How can we push it? How can we make it feel different? How we can put our own spin on it? And I think it came down to let's just be as honest as we can you know, to the material and make it feel as if it is really happening in real life. Because we all know what it's like to be in love, we all know what it's like to break up, and we all know these emotions very well. So for us is that you got a you know, young man who's a PBR bull rider and she wants to work in the art scene in New York and it's those moments when they're about to get close, you think they are and then they don't because of the choices they made or the bad choices they made. Those are the moments that we really wanted to highlight to really show the overall view of what what emotions go through in our whole entire life, and that's what we really try to come across. It's eight seconds. That girl could be the rest of your life. Did you always know that you wanted to be a director? I noticed myself um, when I was eight years old, always watch television. Television was the key. I grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so it was like, it was always cold, and it was sometimes in the summertime it gets too hot. So it was like, television was the key Action. for me. And then I started noticing, wow, who are these people behind the scenes making these films, making these projects? And it all became about storytelling, telling stories. So as I got in grade school and, you know, junior high, telling stories in front of a class. And when you tell stories, it's a three-act structure. So very early on, I started realizing this is what I wanted to do. So my grandmother, she was always watching soap operas a lot, right? So I would be around there watching soap operas. So one day I called up and got the address to General Hospital. So I actually, you know, I wrote General Hospital and says, um, I have some ideas for some of your storylines. And they was like, uh, we don't need any, uh, but we'll send you a script. And that was my first time I was actually to see how a script was written, even though it was written in television format. That was the beginning for me where I started learning. It was really, if you want to tell stories, tell your own stories. So that was the beginning of me learning how to write stories, and just from watching, hanging around my grandmother, watching soap operas. So very early on, I knew that's what I wanted to be as a filmmaker. Promise me it'll come back. I promise. What exactly did you do then to get yourself to where you are today? I think the key uh, for me is um, early on, and I tell filmmakers, if you can write, try to tell your own stories. And Soul Food was the first film that I have written. And believe it or not, it's the last film. I use it as a way. I'm not a writer. I'm, my grammar is bad. Um, I try my best to uh, write sentences for the actors, and I, I end up leaving it to Jack Houston or Una Chaplin to write something, what we need something for. But it's like, I felt like I had a story to tell. So I spent two years writing something that was important to me. And I always tell filmmakers, even if you're not a writer, if you feel like you got a story to tell, get it on paper, have someone write it, have somebody help you. That's the key and of all great stories is having it on page and having it as a writer. So that was my way in. And once I got in as a writer on Soul Food, I was able to continue to direct films. So I think that is the key for being a filmmaker is just making it a reality. I just want you to be happy. I just don't know how to make this work. Now that you've directed multiple films, would you say it's easy for you? No, it's never easy. Uh, I hear filmmakers, true, every day after after the longest ride come out, you just gotta start all over again. You gotta start to one, what is the story? What's the story I wanna tell? What is the theme? And then once you get that together, who's the actors? You gotta recast, then you gotta convince the studios, uh, can you give you a budget to make the movie? So it's a constant starting over every time, but it's exciting, you learn new things. For me, The Longest Ride, it was awesome to learn about PBR, bull riding, and the art world, and really seeing human characters come together that's real, and that's so exciting. I realized that what I want is to right in front of me. Are there any other qualities that you think teens need in order to succeed in this industry? I think the key is also continue to shoot as well. When I was starting out, 
you know, in the 80s and the 90s, it was film, 16 millimeter, 8 millimeter film. You can't even get your hands on 35 until you've made professional. But now you have so much with, you know, with digital, there's so many ways to make movies. And it's not about sometimes the technical, it's more about the story. It's constantly shoot, constantly make movies, constantly do shorts, constantly shoot anything that you can. It will polish you and get you ready. And for me, over the last four or five years, I've been a lot more active in television, a lot more active in film. And you constantly learn as you go along and really collaborate with other individuals. Love requires sacrifice, always.